Hey guys, and welcome back. Um, and uh, it's been a while since I've uploaded. I haven't uploaded music because I've actually been on vacation, so I really want to upload music. Anyway, um, but here's the vlog to show that I have been on vacation. Um, and yeah, we're in Barcelona this time. On our first day, we just explored the town that was near our apartment. We stayed in a place called El Poblasec, which means the dry village. As you can see, but it does look a little dry, but also full of life. In We also have a little street uh, where you can get loads of food and a traditional traditional foods that you can get in Spain and especially Barcelona are tapas and pinchos. Tapas are like small snacks and pinchos are like small sandwiches. For dinner, we ate at a place called La Jabata for tapas. On our second day, we woke up at 2.30 p.m., which is crazy. We were just really jet-lagged, and we immediately went out for pinchos, which, like I said, are tiny little sandwiches that you can find in Barcelona. We ate them along our little street that we would end up eating at multiple times. It's a street with so many tapas restaurants, and it's called Bly. Then, after that, we boarded a tour bus to look around some of Barcelona. It was awesome. By the way, since I'm going to have loads of footage from the tour bus, I might as well tell you a few things about Barcelona. First of all, Barcelona is part of a region called Catalonia, and some people in this region speak a different re uh, speak a different um, language called Catalan. For example, El Poble Sec is actually Catalan for the dry village, which is where we were staying. Also, they have lots of delicious food, including Iberico ham, which is often regarded as the best ham in the world. I tried some. It was just amazing, and I can understand why people say it's the best ham in the world. All the food in Barcelona ended up being really, really delicious, and it was honestly probably the best vacations I've ever had, one of the best vacations I've ever had, just because of how much stuff there was to do around Barcelona. I have almost two minutes of footage from this tour bus, and... On the tour bus, we got to see loads of different landmarks, such as the Sagrada Familia, which we will go closer up to later, but you can see right now in the distance of this clip. bus tour was finished, we looked around a place in Barcelona called the Old Town, which is extremely famous for having narrow alleyways. It also has an amazing bridge that lo makes it look like Venice, but also it has an amazing plas place called Plaza Real, which is a plaza in the middle of the Old Town that we had dinner at. It was delicious, and after that, we had a walk around the Old Town once again which we enjoyed, and the old town was built in the very early days of Barcelona. Then we had a late dinner at an Italian place called Doppietta. On our third day, we had a huge day, first of all, but we started off when I got a little poke bowl at this bar. Now, I got so much footage here that I had to speed it up all at two times speed. So let me explain why. First of all, um, we went to the incredibly famous church uh, cathedral in Barcelona called the Sagrada Familia. It's incredible famous and it's cr incredibly famous. And just looking at this footage, you can kind of see why. I was absolutely stunned by the outside. And this was like a guided tour, but I was not even prepared for the inside because the inside looked even more amazing. I mean, just look at all these windows. It's actually incredible, the inside. I mean, I, I, I had to be, I was wondering in there, like, how did it, how did someone build this? And by the way, the person who built this is one of the most famous people in Barcelona history, and his name's Antonio Gaudí, and he designed many buildings in a style which many other, which almost uh, uh, no one else used. And you can often tell the difference between his buildings and other buildings. You'll see what I mean when we look at other buildings. I actually go to more of his design buildings today, but this is by far his most famous building. And after all, you can kind of see why. Okay. 
After visiting the incredibly famous Sagrada Familia, we decided we needed a bit of a break, so we hopped on a tour bus to explore the northern part of the city. We saw some impressive architecture on this bus. Shout out to Felipe because on the tour bus we passed the Barcelona Stadium Camp Nou, which was under renovation, and we also passed loads of stores selling Barcelona gear, as you can see right here. Uh, and once again, shout out to Felipe because I know he's a Barcelona fan and I know he'll like seeing that. Earlier, I mentioned that um, I would also see other houses made by Gaudi, and we saw the Casa Mila and the Casa Batlo, two incredibly famous uh, pieces of architecture. And you can just see why they are famous, because he has a very distinctive style, as you can see from the inside and outside of these buildings, that made them really fun to look at. They also had some nice rooftop views and some interesting statues on the top for this one. Then we had dinner at a place called Veggie Garden. On our fourth day, we visited an incredibly famous place designed by Gaudi called Parkwell. Parkwell was designed for 60 rich families to live outside the city, and it was self-sustainable. It had beautiful houses, and it was a beautiful park, but it was also very famous because Gaudi would reuse things, and he would never waste anything. For example, he used broken ceramics to build some of the tiles, and he made it so the entire community living in the park would be able to grow their own food and get their own water from the rain. Then, after visiting Park Well, we visited a nearby neighborhood called Grazia, where we had lunch with Iberico toast, which looked amazing, although I didn't have any, and smoked salmon toast, and other things like fried potatoes, which are common in Spain. Then, we visited a festival that seemed to be near the community, and there was a lot of decoration for it, and it must have been very special, because... There were loads of people from the town gathering in there. There were many fun little monsters, like little plastic monsters, and they even created um, loads of different plastic things and used old things to create stuff. Then we visited this insane-looking house called the Casa Vicens, which was made by Gaudi. It was his first-ever house, and he used in he, his design was just incredible on the inside and the outside, and it probably was the coolest of the other two houses that we visited yesterday. Then, we went back to our street, and we had pinchos, which I didn't get footage of, and then crepes, before going to a place that sells horchata, which is a special kind of nut milk. But they also sold ice cream, and I had some of that. It was absolutely delicious. On our fifth day, we first went to an aquarium in the city center of Barcelona. It was quite large, and uh, I had a lot of fun there. There was this one huge tunnel part where you could see loads of fish, and even though I'm not the biggest fan of aquariums, it was kind of fun. Having another short lunch at our Pincho Street near our home, we then ascended up a mountain to a bar that had a view over an Olympic diving pool as well as the entire Barcelona city. It was awesome to just stare at the view, and I honestly could have stared at it all day because of how large the city was and how much we could have saw, but we had other things to do. One of the things up at Montjuic that is famous is a cable car that takes you up to an old castle and also loads of good viewpoints. We went up this cable car and we got even more views of the city and then we did explore a castle before looking at a view of the harbor and going back up.
our penultimate sixth day in Barcelona had come so fast, and I was shocked that the holiday in Barcelona was almost over. But we still had things to do, so we explored an old hospital called St. Pau in the middle of Barcelona. It was amazing and probably the fanciest hospital I've ever seen. It sadly is not open as a hospital anymore, although it is a good museum and a new hospital opened up behind it. Exploring the hospital, we had lunch at a place called the Famous Bar before going on a boat ride that went outside of the harbor and about a mile offshore. It was pretty rocky, but we got to see some cool things like a cruise, and also we got pretty good views of the Barcelona Harbor from farther out sea. Although it was quite choppy, and I almost felt sick near the end of it. Then we had we had dinner at a place called the Chip Iron outside of the Barcelona Harbor, where I had this nice mango and salmon tartare. The end of our holiday had come so fast, and it was finally time to leave. Sadly, we did have to leave Barcelona, although, instead of going home, we took a train to Paris, where we spent the next eight days of our vacation. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and I would just like to let you know that my Paris vlog will be coming out in the coming days. I had an awesome vacation, and it's really cool I was able to go to both Barcelona and Paris, so that means that I have two vlogs for you guys. The train took about seven hours, and I'll have more footage than that in the Paris vlog, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if I've already posted the Paris vlog, it'll be in the description, and if not, you'll look forward to it. See you guys!